since while I'm waiting for the arrival of NASA's DC-8 <clears throat> and after being kicked out of the uh, official uh, changeover or, yeah changeover ceremony from NASA to Idaho State University I might as well show you this World War II display about the Pocatello Air Base They trained gunners for bombers. Of course, that's a Marine Corps uniform. There's an Army uniform for females. And then here's an Army uniform for males. <laughs> but wait a minute. Yeah. Hey. Was she in the Ar Army Air Force? Hmm. Anyway. So. Pocatello Air Base. Was not ever in the city of Pocatello. It's not in the same county. It's in Power County. P-47. Had a great uncle who flew on those. And it was used during World War II to train, like I said, gunners for bombers. But also, it was one of the few bases to train P-47 pilots. They trained, they got other, see, like, uh, the Era Cobra. See, there's, That's interesting because that plane there don't that looks like a Corsair to me. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Wouldn't be the first time the news media got it wrong. Pocatello Army Air Base. Too bad the glass is reflecting the carpet. So the, today this is the Pocatello Regional Airport. And it is, again, it's, not even in the city of Pocatello or the county of Bannock, but it's owned and operated by the city of Pocatello. And the re one reason, see, yes, there was a ship named USS Pocatello but the city of Pocatello used to have what they call the gun factory where they made the big guns for the battleships and cruisers of the U.S. Navy during World War II. It's a dummy 50 caliber round because it has a hole drilled in that case. 
U.S. Air Corps. Before it became U.S. Army Air Force. Yeah, people don't realize they were rationing. Where the glare off this stupid dome. They were rationing food back then. And then this. I think these are like fuel or tire rationing things or something. You were only allowed to drive so many miles during the war. They used to have a, a wall of fame of local pilots. Let's see if I can go find it.